Okay, so once you have um, at least one set of origami pieces done, if you just have one or if you have more than that, then you can begin to glue them down. You can wait till you have more um, done or you can just go ahead and start right away. Um, what you're looking for, since we're working on radial symmetry, you want things to uh, be balanced. You want the symmetry, um, not just down the middle, bilateral symmetry. We want it so that if we were to fold this piece of paper, we could fold it diagonally or horizontally or vertically. Um, so that's why we were doing at least, we were doing four um, of the exact folds in the same color so that we can create symmetry that's radial. Uh, so when you start, I drew the lines on mine so you could see them, but what you can do if you don't want to draw them is you can just fold the paper diagonally both ways and um, vertically and horizontally so you you can see those folds. I I drew them on there so you could see them a little bit better. These are your guidelines. These are going to help match things up and make it so you're not just guessing. So what you can do before you start gluing it gluing down, I always like to experiment thinking how how should things look you know, what way would I like best? Should they all be right touching in the middle or should they be spread apart? I'm going to go ahead and do um, them so they're squares so that um, these points right here are lined up with the vertical and the horizontal lines. So um, they actually make a little square in the middle. So I can glue this down now with a glue stick or I could wait to do it and since I have some already done I can add more. So I've got these maybe, um, and then I have these, they almost look like little um, swans floating. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the diagonal lines for these. I'm going to, you can make them spread more apart or you can put them really close together if you like that better. So a little bit closer together and sometimes things need to be moved a little bit because things get out of place and that's okay because um, as long as you know the basic area then it should be okay. Okay, there. That's pretty close. A little off. There. Um, and then I have one more. I'm going to go ahead and add these to the vertical and horizontal lines. So remember, the key is if you place it on the vertical and horizontal lines, then there should be one on each. If there's on the diagonal lines, then there should there should be one on each as well. So I could I need to I've got three sets, one the orange one, this the light yellow, and then the purple. That's three sets. What I need to have is two more to complete my radial symmetry, at least two more. Um, so I'm always making sure that things are lined up, either on the diagonal lines, or on the the vertical and horizontal lines, so that everything is looking more um, radial because I can fold it diagonally and it matches up. I can fold it vertically and it matches up as well. 